morning folks. Cap here. Just look at how lovely tobacco is. And the scent. Oh. You know I was doing Parasa on Tuesdays. Well, I got a lot of samples coming in and stuff so uh, Thursday was my tobacco day. I wanted to change it to Tuesday because <clears throat> one, I got to use it once a week, but two, uh, I want to use my samples on my weekend so I can talk more about it. Um, but we were talking, this uh, tobacco came out in the 1950s, and um, we were talking about times, me, uh, David, and Michael, good buddies of mine off Instagram, and uh, I was going to use a straight, you know, but... I'm kind of drugged up and don't have any, uh, don't have the best care right now. So, uh, I pulled something out that was made in the 48 to 1950, so it could be made in 1950, but it was certainly used in the 1950s. And that's my 50, 48 to 50 aristocrat. And, um, just to go along with the 50s theme that I got going on today. Something that, you know, this is a uh, Gene Kelly would use. It's not true. Elvis. Of course Elvis would use it gold. I got it loaded with uh, that Gillette 7 o'clock I used this last weekend. that I had uh, loaded up in the clean shave razor. It came with the clean shave razor. Some of y'all were lucky enough to uh, partake in the 1950s. I think the last, that's the last decade that men, all men had a lot of style. 60s brought on hippies, which if you're a hippie, I'm right there with you. But the whole just sense of man and, and woman carried over from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and into the 50s. 50 was a time of change. Elvis Presley. Rockabilly. Stuff smells good. Performance is great. Right before I jumped in the shower and retook my shave of the day picture. <laughs> I always take my shave of the day picture the night before. Here's a list of some of the actors that I just remembered after one cup of coffee. Uh, Humphrey Bogart, Audrey Hepburn, Henry Fonda, Marlon Brando, Gregory Peck, James Stewart, Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire. And the movies from back then, like Singing in the Rain, you know, a lot of musical stuff. Uh, actually, they're just really good stuff. You know, you had some Elvis stuff. And the music scene, it was hopping. Tony Bennett, Elvis. Um, you know, you had the rockabilly. Jared Lee Lewis coming out, Carl Perkins. Side note, my uncle, Lee McAlpin, played piano for Carl Perkins for about 10 years as he traveled all over the world. Went to Paris, uh, UK, played for the Queen of England. You know, he, he went everywhere. He wrote music, but um, let's see, Johnny Cash was then. 
Johnny Paycheck, I think, was around then. Uh, Chuck Berry, Nat King Cole, Les Paul, Tony Bennett. Uh, that's all I can remember this early. It was a dawn of a new era. We were talking about how everybody had class going across the grain now. How the men wore cool fedora hats. Dressed up to go to the park. I'm a second generation uh, railroader. My dad was a railroader too. He was a clerk, agent. You still had passenger trains running through here. I know all of y'all, it's over in a, another country is still, you know, transportation is, is still really big on the rails, but around here it's not. Some big cities it is, you know, they still got the subways and the L's. We have one that will go cross country Amtrak. There's an Amtrak here, but it's different. Like then you had a cool train called uh, the Tennessean that came through here with some old uh, J7 engines. You know, the bow head, conductor dressed up. Old hog head, the engineer, you know, he wore his overalls or whatever. My dad handed out a lot of tickets during those times. Train orders. He's big into collecting cars, which he's a big musician too. He just decided to stay home instead of tour the world. He'd record with other artists, mainly guitar player. He's a picker. Side note, I was lucky enough for about a year or two to play in my Uncle Lee and my dad's band, 10 OC, 10-O-C. A rockabilly band country. When I came around, um, the 50s were way gone. Came around in the 70s, right in the middle of it. has a great feel to it. I think the president came out. Uh, the president Gillette came out in the 50s. It was rhodium plated. If anybody ever has an extra one, they want to send me one. Oh, and to Owen, my buddy from uh, New Zealand. I, I did listen to... Uh, Rick Deweese's podcast yesterday and heard your letter. It was, uh, that was pretty cool. Now, Rick does pose a good question. What is the shaving scene like in New Zealand? Is it something coming back? Something that's always been there?
know me, I'm not the biggest TTO fan. TTO is twist to open any of these Gillette's super speeds and stuff, but uh, feel for gusto today. Um, these aristocrats, they're a little bit different. They built them different. Third shade with this uh, yellow Gillette. Seven o'clock. Wow. Very impressed. Even a TTO, which is the older version of this, actually shaved me better. This is very smooth. Hmm. Getting no complaints from it at all. Smooth, smooth, smooth. My goodness. It's even smoother than a dolphin. Let me get washed up. Alright. Got everything cleaned up. Just put on my parasol. And, um, ever since I started wiping down my straight razors with the uh, toilet paper, I don't so much on my gold ones, but I wipe, um, uh, my my nickel plated down really good. I just kind of touch them with my gold. There is a little bit of resistance on toilet paper. I don't want to take off the finish. <clears throat> Risto worked great. I got a complete BBS. <clears throat> the Zeus, thanks to Jasper the Cimarron from Instagram. Uh, beauty. It's second day in a row. I had, I had to use it again today because I had such a great shave with yesterday. I put on the tobacco. And this is not the um, the vintage. This is the newer newer tobacco. And somebody was saying that the older tobacco actually has a different smell. So I don't know. Interesting. Seems like everything made back then was better. <laughs> we can't uh, can't seem to make stuff like that we used to. Oh, this stuff's not. It feels great. Great. So, I gotta get in line with the other uh, ants out there, make it to work. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day.